You're now listening to the Something Good Podcast Network. Please press any key to continue. It's time for this fucking guy. Hey guys. Welcome to these fucking guys. Wait, fucking guys. It's okay. Did I mess up? These no, that's fucking guys. Yeah, that's a little too much. Yeah, that was a little aggressive out the gate, but uh, we'll bring it home. No, Fireball said that you should get your own podcast. Actually, me? Yeah, he said you have a. Um, he said you have a good voice, and you're usually funny when we're not interrupting you. Oh, cool. Those are his exact words. So thanks, I'll, Fireball. I was like, we'll let her intro next time, so you get a taste of it, Fireball. Taste? No. Well, that <laughs> just put a whole lot of pressure on. For that was a terrible intro. So now that you know that, do you want to try again? Probably. All right. I don't know. I'm going to say three, two, one. And Wait, what do y'all normally say? <laughs> I don't think we normally say No, anything. we just we honestly just press go and say whatever we can to offend people or to make ourselves laugh. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to count now from 10. Give me 10 seconds to think it out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And it was kind of a weird one. <laughs> 4, 3, 2, 1. Yo. What up? It's good. <laughs> Hello. It's good. <laughs> That's a fucking Bud Light commercial. <laughs> Welcome to this fuck, fucking fucking guy. We're here. We're fucking or guys. We have a gal this time. Uh, you might know her uh, as Michaela because she's been on this podcast now five times. Yeah, this is number five. Yeah, did we start at number 10? Was that when we started the whole trend? I think so. Damn. Yeah. Every 10th episode, you guys get Michaela. Cool. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. We yeah. hope you enjoyed... Uh, Thanks for being here. Yeah, we hope we you really enjoyed it. Guests. <laughs> <laughs> it's been... Uh, well, we had, we had a guest last week. Or, yeah. We didn't even have an episode two weeks ago. <clears throat> yeah. We suck. Dude. We just suck. I know, man. We almost made it a we whole almost, year. It's been almost a year, right? Technically, it's been over yeah, a year. I was going to say, have y'all missed a week? Has it been like... That's the first time we missed a week. Yeah. Since we started uploading episodes. Was like, last week? The last week. week we missed. Yeah. Well, that um, week... We're super ashamed, and everyone's been talking shit. <laughs> By everyone, I mean all two listeners. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know anymore what's going on. We suck. Really? Well, it's just we keep... We're all... We're out of whack. We got to get our... We got to get our mojo back. We're out of whack right now. All right. What's been going on? What's the problem? It's... I, I think it's just been scheduling. Honestly. It's been a lot of scheduling issues. It's just turned into a therapy session. <laughs> I was going to say, we're, like... We're sitting. We got the hairdresser here. That's part of the job, so... Oh, man. Well, yeah. therapy. Yeah. yeah. What's, what's, what's the problem, Dante? <laughs> I just think... Like I said, <laughs> scheduling has been a big thing. I, been busy AF with some yeah. garbage crap, and then uh, Mikey's um, been moving. Did move. Oh yeah. I'm still down the podcast though. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah. still down the podcast. Part timers at my store been kind of out. You know, I've been working open to close. Yeah. Six days a week, most days seven, but recently down to six again. Yeah. Uh, trying my best to get back into shape. Yeah. Um, so been dedicating a lot of time to the gym. I've been irritable because my calories are cut in half. <laughs> I haven't been drinking as much. Uh-huh. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just falling apart. Maybe that's what it is. No, I have feel. You tar- have you tried marijuana? Uh, once in high school. Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> um. Yeah. No, I, I don't. Sorry. I can't remember the last time I smoked. Or like CBD. I I'll do the Delta Nine sometimes. Oh yeah. I think the last time you smoked was the last time we smoked. Was it at the Fireball Christmas party? Or do we smoke? Wait, what? I think. Yeah. I can't remember. Well, I feel like I was there, there was for a Christmas party. Well, a time. We, there we, was a Christmas podcast. Yeah, we smoked for both of them. There was a Christmas party. <laughs> Last time I smoked was Jesus' birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since then, it's been sober living, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> With the Delta 9 here and there. I just do the Delta 9 when I feel anxious. Like, I got a, a Delta 9 vape. I hit yeah. it once or twice, and it calms me down. How hard do you have to, like, punch it? Um, I don't usually punch it. I usually just, like, press the little button. Just um. kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. I, I give it, like, a three-second hold. And then another one. I don't know. The, I don't do drugs <laughs> do a lot. A, you do a double drag and a three-second hold? Yeah. That was cool. It was almost musical. We could sample God. that. Then I'm high. I Dante, you want to go smoke some weed? And then it's just... 
Over and over. <laughs> over and over again. Get King Rash, put some vocals on over top of it. Over and over again. Sorry, hmm. I derailed your story. Was there a story? Well, y'all were talking about scheduling. It's been an issue. <laughs> And yeah, and then you were talking about that you've been The grumpy. scheduling's been pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. Um, we've been smoking <laughs> so much fucking weed lately. Like, I forgot how to schedule because of all the weed. <laughs> is that my problem? Do we, if you're a hairdresser, well, I, I feel like you have to. I think that's half your job is scheduling, yeah, right? Say. Well, job-wise, yeah. But, like, personal life, not always. Oh, no, personal really. life doesn't count. Yeah, personal life doesn't matter. Yeah, that's just your personal life. Yeah. You know what it is? Never mind. I think well, yeah, I, I'm great at scheduling. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Cool. Never mind. I think I've made the podcast no too much of the personal life, and it's not a job. i got to make it a job. Yeah, you got to make it a job. Yeah. yeah, wow. I just made it us hanging out. Maybe you should. I'm going to. Here's what's going to happen, all right? I'm going to come over, and we're going to edit this shit together. Oh dear fuck. Yeah. We'll make it a job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, um, I got an idea. Y'all should like... We could like punch in. What? Go ahead. Oh, you punch in? Oh, we might actually yeah. have to do that for this episode. Oh, because of... Time constraints? Yeah. yeah. It'll be fine. We can have a short episode. Okay. Well, we're wasting time. We gotta fucking talk. About, We've been talking. We gotta talk about what's important. <laughs> okay, what's important? Joe Biden stepped down. What the hell? He's that been stepping happen. down, dude. Yeah. Every time I turn on the news, he's stepping down something. I got a new joke for the uh, for the special. I'm gonna say yeah. it's a Joe Biden joke. Yeah. I'm gonna say it on this because I don't. That was my attempt at a Joe Biden joke. <laughs> yeah, no, that's why I was like, let me just let me tell you how to do it. No, let me you. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna say yeah. So Joe Biden recently stepped down, and he was very nervous about stepping down. He was very anxious about it. Uh, then he was informed that he wouldn't actually have to take a step to do it. There you go. Yeah, well, quick yeah. one. Well, easy, quick and easy, freaking easy down the road we go. You know. Yeah. Uh, Donald Trump got almost killed. Yep. What got the, almost killed? He got almost killed, guys. What the fuck is going on? Biden's about to die. I'm going to predict it. October 3rd. Biden's done for. <laughs> <laughs> Why October Oh, my 3rd? gosh. If something happens to him on October 3rd, they're coming for you. <laughs> yeah. October 3rd. It's gonna be, there's no assassination. <laughs> there's none of that. Don't fucking flag me. It's going to be... Guys, he's winking. <laughs> It's going to be a mental, it's going to be mentally, he, he's just going to be too old. I don't know. That's it. October 3rd. His face does not match what he's saying right now. <laughs> I'm mentally too old. Uh, this dude came to the store today and he was like, I was like, what you looking for? I was like, what you looking for today, man? And he was like, um, I just got dementia. I'm walking around. I swear to God. I was <laughs> like, serious? Yeah. I was like, I know there's a missing poster for you right now, but I don't know who to call. Yeah, uh, fucking somebody. He was like, I live. You didn't have like a dog tag on him or something. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. He was like, I live in that motel across the street over there. And I was like, okay. I feel like if someone's got dementia, they need some kind of identification on them, right? No, they could have an ID. I right. found a one of those one time. <laughs> Wait, what? A dementia ID? No. Oh. A person. Oh. <laughs> like a, a, a guy with dementia. I was uh, driving home and saw this old man walking down the road in like street clothes. So I was like, kind of weird. Um, it's like out in the country, middle of nowhere. And I was going to pull over, but I was like, mm, I don't know. You don't know about people. Yeah. But then I get home and in like the ditch of the driveway is like a car. It's like wrecked in the ditch and nobody's in it. So I'm like, it's that old man. I'm going back to get him. <laughs> And it's so, like I drove over to him and I'm like, did you just wreck your car? And he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. No, it's like, and, and then he called me. I don't remember what name he called me, but he thought it was his daughter. And he kept like calling me that. And I was like, okay, this man, you know, that's why I like called the police. And he tried getting in the car with me, but he had his hand in his pocket and he was like, he was holding whatever was in his pocket and it was freaking me out. And I was like, I'm not letting him in the car. Just, you know, you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And no. so he keeps trying to get in the car. So the police get there. And I told them the whole situation. They drive they drive him over to the car. And by the time we all get back over there, there's a woman over there with this man. And she actually was driving the car out looking for the husband. And, like, got nervous and tried turning around and wrecked in the driveway. And this is so, all in front of your home? Yeah. Jeez Louise. And, man. like, he went out for a walk <clears throat> and just, like, got lost. And he'd been, like... It was like seven miles from home. Oh my! Oh, God. so he was never in the car. No, he was never in the car. Gotcha. Jeez. The wife was, but I happened to like. Right. You yeah. saved their lives. Yeah, I don't know. Their marriage, at least. And she was <laughs> <laughs> something. She was telling us that she had just lost him in CVS the week before. <laughs> Jesus. And I'm like, put a bell on that bitch. You gotta like do something. That's what I'm saying. Like, get him a shirt. 
like, something. Damn. I've got dementia. If I'm not with somebody, <laughs> yeah, I'm not right. really somebody. If I'm no, in an I'm unusual place. <laughs> if I'm by myself, call yeah. for help immediately. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> dementia Doug over there. Mm-hmm. Damn. Sometimes. That's funny. Yeah. I mean, it's not funny. It's not. It's not funny. No. But it's kind of funny. My grandma had dementia. She uh, didn't make it. She, uh. She passed away. Oh shit! Yeah, this morning. Um, but we're doing good, honestly. No, I'm just kidding. She passed away like ten years ago. So we like we're almost at the point where we've forgotten about her. That's so. why the bathrooms. No, that's the other one. And... No, that's the other one. That's my uh, other grandma. She had a heart attack when I told her I was gay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it was when my sister told her she liked black guys. She was like, "Oh, I can't take this anymore." <laughs> That's terrible. She died in this house when I'm making fun of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, no. She's no. she's probably in here right now. I believe it. What was her name? Eleanor. Why are you doing what? I hope my family doesn't listen to this. They're gonna... She's probably in here right now. What was her name? <laughs> Say it three times. Do you know uh, what month she was born? <laughs> November, maybe? She uh, was a great lady, though. She, she had breast cancer. She beat it, beat the fuck out of it. And then um, years later, had a heart attack. She lived a great life, though. Hell yeah. She doesn't beat cancer. She's my spirit animal, honestly, because after her and my grandfather, like, they got a divorce uh, when my, um, I think when my papa was early 20s, late teens, somewhere around the area. They got a divorce, and for the rest of her life, she lived in this house by herself happily. Like, she was like, I don't want anyone else. I'm That's just awesome. Gonna, I'm just going to live right here. And, I love uh, it. I think I, some of it must have been stuck in Hello. the air or yeah. something. High five. Where are you at? Come on. She's just in the fucking corner with her hands on her hips, looking around at her living room. Oh, like, what she, in the fuck? She lived in this house for, I think, 40 years. She did not put any pins, any nails in the wall. And look what you've done. <laughs> you know what there literally are just nails in the wall. No, she. I think she had to put one because she had a mirror right there. But other than that, it was like nothing else went on the walls. She had. She did a TV stand. She had a. a, a might have just been hanging there by the Holy Spirit, man. <laughs> it might have been. Was she religious? I'm, she was very. I'm religious. guessing she was. She's very religious. Yeah. She uh, went to church. That church right around the corner. Right there's where she went to church. That's where she's buried. Where's she at? Yeah, in the backyard. No, I'm just kidding. She's. <laughs> um, no, she's not buried over there. She's buried at uh, the Lancaster Memorial. I don't know why I lie so much. Oh, it's my. just like I tell it, and I'm like, it's a yeah. joke for me. But it's like they don't know. I do that a lot too. <laughs> it's, it's like I and like it. especially to strangers, and oh. they just have no idea. Yeah, I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was uh, I rode my bike to BV's the other day, and there was a guy sitting there, and he was asking me all kind of questions, and I was just like, what you're doing right now? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. And then, <laughs> oh, the best is just starting with a fake name. As soon as you walk in with a fake name, yeah. it's just game over from there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he goes, he says something along the lines of, like, you're like a puzzle, but there's pieces missing. Damn. He called you special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like mentally, I just don't feel like you're all the way there. <laughs> and it was funny because it's For not some the reason, first time I've been the puzzle upside down. <laughs> That's not the first time I was told that. <laughs> oh, wow. is that a pickup line or an insult? I think it was That's just like, like a I don't know trying to like say that I was being confusing, but like that was what I was trying to do. Uh, well, that's, that's dating uh, in 2024. Yeah, it's like well, an insult and a pickup line at the same time. Hey, you're no, cute, but you could be cuter. <laughs> and they're like, oh, thank you. Yeah. Anyways, I'm not gonna help you pay for this bar to <laughs> call back there. Yeah, for that a took me a second. second. I was like, what's a car tow? <laughs> <laughs> No, I got. Remember when we went to Car Toes United and got a car tow together? (laughs) That was awesome. And then we separated. And you said you were taking yeah. the car tow. That's bullshit. I paid for it. <laughs> I paid for the, the whole car tow. Um, <laughs> since you're on here, is there any updates to the book? Any updates to the book? Um, honestly, I've taken like a little bit of a break from it. She's on a hiatus. It's a week. But... A hiatus? No, I don't know. Cause I'm like, <laughs> what? I thought it was a funny one. Because like, we were talking about weed earlier. Yeah, I got it. So I was like, oh, she's on a hiatus. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been kind of stuck with it for a little bit. I'm trying to like tie everything together, you know? Like I have all the funny stories and I'm just trying to like 
bring it all together instead of just right. like yeah, okay, make, story, 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 story. Yeah. So. Like a, is it is that called an almanac? No. What is it called? Anthology. Plot? I don't know. I think it, <laughs> it's, a, it's an, an, an anthology is a book of a bunch of other stories instead oh, of being okay, one okay. continuous story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like story, 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 story. I think. Oh it, yeah. I think you're at that stage where it's like. Like you've got all the stories down, right? Right, yeah. So now it's a matter of like, well, that's not a book. That's maybe, what, 20 pages most? Um, I don't, I don't even know where I'm at right now, honestly. I, I, right, I had to guess. Last time I checked, I think it was at 30. 30. But yeah, so I've done some since too. Right, but 30 is not a book. Right, yeah. But you got the stories written out. So yeah. now it's a matter of like, you got to dissect the story mm-hmm. to tell a I guess a bigger story. Yes. And like what you learned and all this. Right. How long do you want the book to be? I don't know. Maybe like. It's like I just told you guys I took a break. Why are you telling me <laughs> right? fucking questions about the book? Quit talking like, about what's the like an book? average book. Like I do a lot of audio books, so I know like length of time books mm. are, but not like pages. So like I don't know between one and two hundred maybe ish. No. Yeah. I don't want it to be like super super short, but not real long either. Right. Right. So and... you can just like pick up at the airport and read yeah. on a two hour flight. Because cool. I feel yeah. like too at the same yeah. time it is a book Welcome of Welcome to like, Miami. <laughs> it is a book <laughs> of bad dates. Right. So like you you do have to take a break because it's like some girl's flying out to her long distance boyfriend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That she met online and yeah, is like going to for meet. The first time. Yeah. Yes. Yep. <laughs> and she's like, "Fuck this," and then leaves. Like as soon as the wheels hit the ground, she flips the last page. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sees that like still there's nothing yeah. good out there yeah. anywhere, and she's like, "Well." <laughs> As soon as she gets service, she gets a text from the guy. He's like, "I just rented us a jet ski for the weekend." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She's like, all right, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm flying back. Just, just. And at the same time, she got a phone call that her car was towed back at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> she parked illegally. Holy shit. He's like, also, I bought this new cowboy hat. So. Just, and just, he got a haircut with part of his ear cut off. Oh, damn. See, there's another idea. You could take your story and then just really fluff it up yeah. and just, just exaggerate lie. the fuck out of it. He had See, a like, big black... <laughs> <laughs> I don't Hold know if I want to fluff it up though because I'm like these stories are so terrible that like they don't even need so much fluff you know right I don't know but I get what you're saying too I don't know so yeah I gotta figure out what to do with that I've some, got a couple ideas I just throw some punchlines in there I'm taking a chance to what a couple setups a couple setups a couple punchlines punch yeah. a couple knock knock who's there <laughs> yeah. Yeah. oh it's definitely gonna be a funny not your card like, <laughs> what you should start start uh if you have any other like to start the book you should like if you have funny stories about you and your dad uh-huh be like this is what i expect from a man or something like that or this is not what i expect but <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. no i got you yeah. yeah i see what you're saying maybe just her dad sitting on the front porch in a rocking chair smoking a joint reading the audiobook <laughs> <laughs> or it's like the way that your dad and your he's mom like goes, shaking his head <laughs> okay uh <laughs> he's he probably shouldn't even read the book because like something as minor as I don't know if y'all saw I had like a hairy bathing suit photo on my Facebook dad was so disappointed in me (laughs) so he doesn't need to read the book (laughs) hairy bathing suit seriously (laughs) with everything going on today's climate Uh uh-huh you're like I just thought it was funny yeah yeah, you were on a podcast called this fucking guy (laughs) really what was his problem with it? He said it was lacked it? class. Well, and if you lie. knew my dad and to hear him say that, you'd be like, <laughs> he said that? Damn. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Class. Yeah, I don't want to imagine him, like, listening to my audiobook or listening to this or anything. <laughs> well, you get your toes sucked on in this book, right? <laughs> 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 Thanks, Dante. <laughs> you talk. You play the video on the podcast. <laughs> I've not even began that chapter because I don't even know where to begin. Because they're like, Can you where call you said, Keith? "Ooh, yes. he doesn't have a nickname yet." Oh, that chapter's That's gonna it. kill. Dude. There it is. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> okay, and you, American girl. I'm like, only at so so many pages now, but adding that one, that's gonna like double it. Easily. That's how we do. I get a writer's critic now. Toby Keith or like. <laughs> yeah, Toby. Should just be like Toby. Yeah, Toby works. Keith is unnecessary. <laughs> Toby Keith called a stray. He called a stray in that. Unless right. the guy liked Toby Keith. 
if you can tie Toby Keith into that guy, then it works. Yeah, I'll see if I can tie it. I wish his name was Keith, and then you mm-hmm. could just call him Toby Keith. That would be cool, yeah. 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 Dang, if only the universe is perfect. Right? What are we doing here? Mm-hmm. Fuck the net. <laughs> what are I bet I could here? find a way to tie it in. It's gotta be, right? Yeah. Like, cause like, key, I don't know. Play off that something. Yeah, keep working on it. You got it. Hey, you just got the idea. I got it. Yeah, thanks. I'm gonna put that in my notes. Keys. That's good. Red Solo Cup. Yup. You know, just think of Toby Keith songs. <laughs> Listen to them. See what you come up with. <laughs> What is this podcast? <laughs> I think this has been tame so far. It's Fire- pretty good. Fireball wanted to be on. I was thinking about texting Fireball. I'm glad I didn't text Fireball. No, we, he would have been they, getting here until 9.30. Yeah, knowing that you have a time crunch. Sorry about that again, guys. To the listeners. Uh, I wouldn't apologize to y'all. I was just <laughs> apologizing to the listeners, but I guess I could say sorry to y'all as well. All right, you guys drive all the way out here. No, I know. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry. God, man. Oh, I'm a piece of it. I've been getting- said, she can't wait. I've been getting shit all all week for not helping you move already, and now look at me. What an ass! I made fireball. I, so I mean, you got to get out of here because you got to pick someone up, right? Yeah. What if all three of us go pick that person up and record on a digital device? That while just we're sounds doing it? like a dumb idea. <laughs> Why? It sounds awful. Come on, dude. Why is it awful? Not awful. It's not awful. Just I don't think Dante likes us too much. Oh my! Probably not. That sounds like you don't want to go on an adventure with us. It's probably just me. Well, you have to no. drive. Y'all all do this, this every way. week. It's just me. You have to drive this whole one way by yourself. Like well, you wouldn't rather have two friends with you. No, I prefer, hamming it up. I prefer the peace. The peace. The comfort of the car. We don't bring you peace. Damn. Clearly not. What is happening? Trying to get away from <laughs> is this therapy? <laughs> is this therapy? Now? Why do you hate us, man? I don't hate anyone. I love the world. We're you just think, trying to you get your mojo back. <laughs> I know it. I know it. No. You don't want us to embarrass you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that's we're just too cool. Yeah. Wait. What? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. You know. Oh, hell you guys yeah. didn't even say anything. I got my windows tinted today. No shit. No. Good job, dude. The sun was kind of setting whenever we pulled up. So yeah. Like, no, you, you're you good because it was dark when you got here, but you were here early enough dark. to where you could see. <laughs> it was 8 o'clock, dude. You were on the bus. Oh, me on the bus? No, you threw her under the bus. No, it was oh. definitely dark when she got here. That's what I just said. You were yeah. Like, okay. I don't know what's going on. We just having a little quarrel amongst ourselves. <laughs> I can tell. As we as we normally do, we sometimes neglect the yeah. the, listen, the listener and the guest. <laughs> um, someone's got to keep us on the rails. I feel like the guest has to take sides. You like if Morrison was here, dude? Oh, we'd both God. be calling you a fucking idiot. That's why Morrison's <laughs> not here. All right. Morrison. Well, yeah. you've met Chris, right? Oh, what? <laughs> oh, I was gonna. Say something funny, but we probably don't have time to. Say something funny. <laughs> we should call um, Home Dude. Ooh, home dude. Uh, I don't even remember what I nicknamed him from the last episode. Home Dude. The Toad Guy. Oh, oh the Car Toad. Yeah. Car Toad. Car Toad Craig. Yeah. Not it. Nose goes. Not my phone. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> I gotta call him? Yeah. On my phone? Or on your phone? <laughs> no, you can't for mine. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, I see. It was like a prank call. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like, just call him and ask him how he's been. <laughs> you can do that. And you know him. Yeah, do it. I could. I can call him. You want me to call him? Ask him what you think his most redeeming quality is. <laughs> star 6-7? <seven. laughs> if I star 6-7, he won't know it's me, right? I guess. Are you really I don't really think that works anymore. I don't know. If oh, that's I'm not going to do Google it. it. Well, we, can, we can pull it up. Pull it up. Can you pull that up? Pull it up. Hey, <laughs> can you pull that yeah, up? Yeah, where's dude? Hey. Y'all hired somebody for that by now, right? Huh? Dude, not yet. No, nah, we got actually, we had uh, some budget cuts recently. Oh, really? Yeah, it's been pretty rough. It's been pretty rough. Old, uh, uh Alex old, has been uh, taking, Alex. The, he's been re- reeling us back in. Reeling us? Not reeling us. Reeling us? He's been reeling us reeling back us? in. Oh. He might be reeling you. <laughs> he asked nicely. <laughs> yeah, he might be. Hey, oh shit. Yeah, it is still Star 6 7. Does that work? This feature works on smartphones and can even be used as recipient already has. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're good. Thanks for looking that up. Good. You will remain private, anonymous, blocked, or restricted, though. Alright, Star 6 7. What's his phone number? So it's, um. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Now, yeah, now, yeah, now yeah, it's backfired on. on you. Oh, it did? Did it? I can no, She's stop. just gonna hold hand yeah. that to me. I'm going to be too stoned to edit this later. I might remember. <laughs> what if he says his name? Oh, well, then I guess I'll have to pay attention. Okay. Jeez, I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? <laughs> You're about nervous? This. I don't know about this dude. Hello? 
Hey man, is this Derek? This is not Derek. Not oh, all right. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not calling again. That sucked. I was thrown off by it being a lady. <laughs> Call him again. Are you sure it's not Derek? <laughs> Please, man. Do it, do it. <laughs> just, just like serious. But this again. time, don't block your number because we have no idea who this is. <laughs> I don't. I don't think no. this is a fun game for me. No, at the end, yeah, that person we gotta not call him from a different number. Call, I got this. Call from your phone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is goddamn Derek. You're hiding from me, motherfucker. God, I don't know what no, the fuck is wrong with you. Call again and just real confidently, <laughs> Derek. Oh man, I haven't felt this kind of rush since fucking school, man. Is this Derek with the Honda? Ain't you selling the Honda on the Facebook Marketplace? Can I see? You, no. I feel like I need to compose myself. <laughs> this, that was a Pennsylvania number. I guess. Yeah. Hello. Hey, is this Derek? This is not Derek. Oh, are you sure Derek is Derek there? No, is this Connor? No, this is not. Con this is Tim. Tim. Tim who? Tim Weatherby. Well, I was calling no, this the. Is not, this is not Derek. All right. Do you know? You wouldn't happen to know Derek. Is this? You said this is Connor. This, this is not Derek. No. All right. <laughs> What the hell, they got different That's people sick. answering the same phone. He said his name was Connor or my name was Connor. <laughs> I don't think he said Connor at all. He, he did is, say he Connor. Said, yeah, he said Connor. I thought he said this is Tomer. Tomer? I thought, who the fuck is Tomer? Oh, I thought he said this is Connor. But no, that was him. I knew the first time he had somebody else answer it. Oh. Because when... Maybe he listens to the show. Fuck yeah, baby. <laughs> Wait. Did you block your He's number like, I know episode time? 50's coming up. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Timing's right, man. Oh, my god. I think I did. You think you did? I don't remember. I don't care. Well, the smartphones suck now because Derek. it tells that you the name. It's, it'll say <laughs> Where Mikey, did Derek come from? Mikey slash Black. I don't know. Oh. I panicked. <laughs> a lady answered the phone. I was like, oh, is this Derek? <laughs> Obviously. That was such a great prank. <laughs> You like that podcast world? <laughs> That's who the fuck we are, baby. Is this Derek? Well, we couldn't say his name. From the makers of Black Balls, baby. <laughs> Is this Derek? <laughs> Is this? <laughs> you know what you should do this week? You should write a song called Is This Derek and insert it. To make up for some of the lost time yeah. we're going to have. All right. There we go. Yeah. Like how I delegate more work for him to do. <laughs> yeah. He's already got to edit and whatever he does. I don't know what he does with this shit. I don't know what the fuck goes on. He just says, start going, and I go, baby. Hell yeah, dude. And I instantly hit him with this. Is this Derek? Is this Derek? Is <laughs> Derek there? All right. I got some uh, topics I want to talk about. Okay. Can we um, rank and or categorize accents? Accents? Yeah. Okay. Like, from across every spectrum of dialect. Right. We can say which one's the best, or we can, like, choose which one's the funniest. I think the best is an Australian. Oh, yeah? I love an Australian accent. I don't like an Indian accent. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with an Indian accent. Uh, Australian, um, a British, those are top tier. Right. Um, Asian accent. What's your favorite? Mid-tier. I'm, I'm going to say Australian. Australian? Australian. What's your favorite? Probably oh, well. Irish. Irish? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Who's with you for some Irish shenanigans, eh? Like, they just always sound so, like, Come jolly. On. I don't right. know. Who do you happy. think is the hardest to understand? Ooh, Taiwan. Oh. <laughs> Taiwanese is fucking sucks. Bro. Yeah? How often do you encounter a, inter -counter a <laughs> Taiwanese? <laughs> Every time I go to the laundromat. Okay. You okay. Go to the laundromat. I just thought it'd be a funny joke. If I can find it in my search history, I'll tell you the hardest to understand. I was in an Uber the other day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have to pull it up. We already know. <laughs> yeah. we... <laughs> what? What's your guess? <laughs> Thank you for choosing the Uber. <laughs> no, that was not it at all. No. Yeah. He's playing Kid Cudi. It smells like fucking blunts. <laughs> No, the country has never heard. Actually, that's 
Awesome. The situation in Israel is fucked up, eh? <laughs> <laughs> this is awful. He literally was Canadian? talking about it. <laughs> Uh-oh. But he wasn't from there, but he was talking, and it was the same day Trump got shot, and I had literally mm. sat down in the Uber and got the phone call, and, like, my neighbor told me Trump got you shot. You got a and, fucking phone call? And then... Holy shit. Well, you my a neighbor, huge Trump supporter. No. <laughs> you, you hear? God damn it, they my got neighbor. him. They got him. <laughs> Fuck! That's literally... <laughs> I didn't answer her because it's my neighbor and I'm like I just got an Uber and she texts me she's like they shot Trump <laughs> imagine the guy in the driver's seat overheard it and he was like yes <laughs> <laughs> hey, why is your trunk ticking man <laughs> um oh fuck cancelled immediately cancelled <laughs> what would you say was hardest to understand Taiwanese Taiwanese, Taiwanese. damn you really go to the laundromat? I went to, uh, I was in New York one time. Yeah. And um, there was this this guy that was from Taiwan, and um, he was he had hot dogs he was serving. Yeah. And I said, man, that looks really good. He said, hey, you should Taiwanese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so stupid. Damn it. Oh, my God. Taiwan's not even a real answer. <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Taiwanese, man. Oh, I don't know what I would choose. I guess I'd say Vietnamese, dude. Oh, yeah, Vietnamese, Vietnamese is hard. It's pretty rough. Which yeah. one do you think is the most sophisticated? Uh, sophisticated? Fucking Chinese, bro. Mandarin? Yeah. They're just using fucking... <laughs> I'm talking like accents, sh- though. Like, not shapes. the language. Oh. Uh, like, uh, just... Mexican. Okay. Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> That's the most sophisticated? <laughs> well, I guess English, technically, right? Senor! Old, old English? <laughs> old English? But no one speaks like that anymore. What do you... What's old English? Like Shakespearean. Oh, like like across the pond? Like in yeah. England and shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they still use that. No, they don't. <laughs> they don't fucking say ye old fucking... Oh, you're talking old, old, okay. Old English, Shakespearean. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. No, who does that? Where dost thou go with next to... <laughs> fucking, I don't know, bro. I don't even know how to pronounce that place. <laughs> Bangladesh? No. What other ranking of accents are there? Um, I was hoping we'd get a little more um, dark jokes out of that. But what else is there? I don't know. I think a good like country accent. Southern accent? That's probably my favorite. Yeah, hey darling. Sound like fucking cornbread. Fucking come over tea. here and tie my shoe for me. Yeah, maybe not quite like that. <laughs> hey, I saw <laughs> the way you looked over there on aisle three. I thought I'd come over and <laughs> buy you a glass of milk. <laughs> Sell just glasses yeah, and milk. Sir, this is a dick sporting <laughs> goods. Hey, now, listen. I saw you touching them discs for that disc golf game you like to play. Oh, you looking at them spandex shorts? I went ahead and bought you one. <laughs> one shorts? Yes, one sir. Short. Wait. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you talking to a guy the whole time? Where Where are we in the story? I'm checking out already. I've been checking you out all day. Anyways, my name's Tarek. This is the last time I come to Concord Mills Dick Sporting Goods, dude. I swear to God. It's like me, me and you can go for a little stroll down by the Bass Pro Shop. We can I was go literally see the there water. yesterday. <laughs> Go water. look at the fishes. The water. <laughs> I did that yesterday. I was literally in there. Look at the fish. You can't yeah. not go to Concord Hills and go look at the fish. You know, in the fucking tank. In uh, Tampa Bay, I got banned from, from the mall because <laughs> I jumped in this tank. I, was, I jumped in that son bitch. It was that alligator attacking that motherfucker. <laughs> Was it you that told me that happened in Concord Mills? Wait, what? Somebody told me that happened in Concord Mills in the Bass Pro Shop. Oh, someone jumped in the tank. Yeah. yeah. I don't know who it was or why. The, it was on TikTok. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I don't know. Was it you telling me about that? I think so. Okay. I don't know yeah. if I told you or sent it to you. I might have told you. I feel that. like somebody told me that today or yesterday. So... Honestly, it might not have been that Bass Pro Shop. Oh. I didn't realize other Bass Pro Shops also had fish tanks. I thought... Yep, they sure do. I thought Concord was like the Bass Pro Shop. No. <laughs> I was in one... Isn't there a fucking like pyramid in Tennessee? Like the biggest Bass Pro Shop is literally a pyramid in Nashville really? or something. I think so. Maybe. I don't know. I was in one in Florida, like down in the Keys. And they have a... Um, I forget if it was the actual thing or a replica, but uh, Hemingway's boat in the middle of it. It's pretty cool. What is that? A Hemingway's boat? Like uh, Ernest Hemingway, his boat. I don't know who that is. 
You don't know who that is? Oh, I feel like I should. Like the, he's like an author and all kind of other different things. Um, yeah, there's like his boat in the middle of the square. Did you learn that, like, who he was in high school or is this a... It's like a like well-known person. Who the fuck? I've never heard that name. Really? Maybe I have. I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid. <laughs> Let's see. What is he most famous for? Yeah, being a writer. We really do need to pull it up, guy. Yeah, y'all do. We need up that budget. Mm-hmm. You need, like, an intern. <laughs> An intern? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unpaid. They're just here for the laughs. I mean, if we had like up. a solid studio set up, we could get an intern. Yeah. Because I know one of the venues in Gastonia does a podcast and they have an intern from the school that shows up and does the like the video, oh, yeah. the audio, everything for them. Oh, cool. And it's part of like his project. He has to submit to uh, receive a grade for the class. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. We might could do that. We could do that. Yeah. Get Dante to build a studio. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. You done any karaoke recently? I actually don't do karaoke. You've never? Was it you that, I don't know if you did it, but it was like a live karaoke you did somewhere? Maybe. I didn't do it, but I may have been at one. Gotcha. I go to karaoke events a lot, but I, that's like right. one of the very few things I will not do is karaoke. Karaoke? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've done it maybe three times ever in my life. Really? Yeah. It's yeah. fun. I get the hype. I don't. I don't sometimes know, the just... bar setting is a little... Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, I could see that. There's some places I've been to and I'm like, are you really chose to go up here right now? Big like places. Like nobody's gone up there, but they have it kind of thing. Right. And then they go up there and it's just like, everyone's looking around like, this is so weird. <laughs> Someone, <laughs> someone's got to go first. <laughs> right. Please, anybody. And then no one did it after that. Yeah. Like it was just the one. <laughs> it's just and some then... drunk Asian guy singing Journey. Hell yeah, dude. That'd be fun. Don't stop! You guys, do you have a drunk Asian guy at your bar? At my bar? Yeah. I like you regular, whichever one you go to the most. I have a couple, but yeah, definitely. I have a couple regular bars. Oh, fun. I don't know where that came from. Can we work together? I don't either. But yeah, I feel like there is always one around. Dante, you got any Asian friends? Um, girl named Daphne, girl named Jessica. Um, um, I think that's it. Two. Cool. I went to high school with them. I wouldn't say we're friends. Same. I haven't talked to them since high school, but they were sweethearts. <laughs> so. I was gonna say the same. I've had I had two Asian friends, but like in high school, and then I find myself now not having any Asian friends. Yeah, I need some. Let's find one. I got an Indian friend. Hi. It's pretty close, right? Oh, I guess. On a map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's technically Asian. Right. I played yeah. pickleball so. with That's one right. Friday with an Asian. You play football? Pickleball. Oh, pickleball. Like the vegetable. But yeah. I do want to do flag football. Yeah. They have it in um, Indian land, I think. They have adult flag football. Or they're going to get adult okay. flag football. So oh, it's like $300 per team. So you get your team together. Oh, well. There's, um, there's one at the where I'm playing kickball at. They have it there, too. Really? Yeah. Some of us talk about doing it. Yeah. Oh, Michaela joined a kickball team, dude. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I've been playing kickball. Is it fun? Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of fun. We suck, but it's fun. Yeah, all right. It's yeah. like my church basketball team. I think they need just like an all-star player to get in there. Yeah. And show up and like. We just them. need people to show up in general. Right. This House kick and run if you're listening. Show up. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast basically started because of kickball. To be honest, that's how we met. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Just a kickball game and a couple of guys. Yeah. Dude, that was two years ago, like today or yesterday. Yeah. I just oh, popped really? Up on That's Facebook funny. Memories. Yeah. Look at that. And then a year later, we start a podcast, and now two years later, we're talking about kickball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it all comes full circle. Yeah. What, Molly? Well, guys, I hate to rush off, but uh, got to get running down the road. I appreciate your hospitality in my home. <laughs> um, Kayla, we appreciate you coming on. Thanks for having me. Next time, we owe you more time. This is 100% on me. I'm sorry. Uh, next time, we'll make it up to you. Mm -hmm. Mikey, I'll give you a good blowjob. Thank <laughs> And as always... You already put me on your comedy show, man. Oh, that's right. You owe me a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, guys, stay fucking awesome. Blah, 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 blah. You've been listening to the Something Good Network. If you liked what you heard, you can follow us on Instagram and check out the other great shows on the network. Link is in the episode description.